Hey, this is Professor Perez again. Today, we're going to work on some properties of addition. And of course, we cannot have a class without our student of the semester. And that's Charlie. He better be ready to go. Charlie, wake up over there. What do you think you're doing? Get your piece of paper and a pencil? What, are you tired? Yeah, I've been working. got a lot of things going on in my life. Uh, nobody wants to hear your story. What? And by the way, how many of you out there are working and are tired too? What? Yeah, you're not the only one, Charlie. <laughs> anyway, let's get to work. Yeah, you better be ready, Charlie. Here we go. Our first problem is right there. 2 plus 3, Charlie. So how do we do 2 plus 3 on a number line, Charlie? Start at 2 and move right 3. Okay, we start at 2 and we move to the right 3 times. And that gives us 5. Very nice there, Charlie. Okay. Now, watch what happens here, Charlie. We're going to switch the order on 2 plus 3 and make it 3 plus 2. Now, if we're doing 3 plus 2, we start at 3 and we move to the right 2 times, which again gives us 5. And so, Charlie, 2 plus 3 and 3 plus 2 both give us the same answer, correct? Yes. All right. Now, that is showing us that, hey, if you're adding two numbers together and you switch the order, you get the same result. And that is what's called the commutative property for addition. Right there, Charlie. So, the commutative property for addition says that A plus B is the same as what, Charlie? B plus A. B plus A. Okay. Now, that could be of some use to us when we add negative numbers. Now, adding negative numbers is a whole separate video which comes up later in the series, okay? But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this sum, 7 plus a negative 3, and we're going to apply the commutative property, which changes it to what, Charlie? Negative 3 plus 7. Negative 3 plus 7. And so, in our problem, we're going to start at negative 3, and we've got to move right how far, Charlie? 7 times. 7 times. Now, here we go. We're going to work in steps. We first go to the 0. We move three times, right? And then we take a break. <sighs> okay, now, how many more do we have to go, Charlie? Four more. Four more. And so that puts us at four. So negative three plus seven is four. Okay? And so what we've just shown here, okay, that seven plus a negative three, remember, is four. And when we get to subtraction, which is coming up very soon, 7 plus a negative 3 is the same as 7 subtract 3. Now that's adding negative numbers. Again, that'll come up soon after we get through subtraction, okay? Well, anyway, let's go on here. Let's look at uh, this sum right here. 2 plus 3 plus 4, Charlie. Okay. Let's just move, work this problem working left to right. So we start at 2 and we move to the right 3 times, which gives us what, Charlie? 5, five okay. And now to the 5, we have to add the 4, and so we end up at where? 9. 9. So that is our answer there, okay? So 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 9. Now watch this. Let's put parentheses. Now the parentheses is our first order of operation, and order of operations is coming up soon too, so don't get scared. Okay? So let's simplify the parentheses first. The parentheses says, do this sum first. Now what's 2 plus 3, Charlie? 5. That's 5. Very nice. And to the 5, we have to add the 4. Correct? Okay, so let's add the 4 now, and we end up at 9. Correct? Okay, it's the same as our first answer there. Now, watch this, Charlie. Here's a sum again. It's 2 plus the quantity 3 plus 4. So the parentheses is telling you, do this first. Add the 3 and the 4 first. So, Charlie, what's 3 plus 4? 7. 7. Very nice. And to the, the 7, we have to add that 7 to the 2. So we have 2 plus 7. And now let's do 2 plus 7. What do we get, Charlie? 9. 9. Very nice. And notice here, those two sums there with the parentheses give the same result. Okay? Now that is called the associative property for addition. Okay? Now what the associative property of addition states, Charlie, is this. If you have the quantity a plus b in parentheses here, saying you have to add a plus b first and then add the c, you will get the same result if you were to add the 
quantity B plus C first. So the parentheses he's saying over here, add the B plus C first and then add it to the A and you will get the same result, okay? So basically, the associative and, and commutative properties, it's a tongue twister, when you put those together, you can basically show that whenever you have numbers that are all being added together, you can add the numbers in any order, only if they're all being added together. Now, that could be of some use to us, and we'll see that in our next video, okay? Now, let's look at 2 plus 3 plus 4. We can arrange these in any order we want, because they're all being added together. And so, Charlie, give us another arrangement. 4 plus 2 plus 3. 4 plus 2 plus 3, okay. So let's do 4 plus 2 plus 3. 4 plus 2 is what, Charlie? 6. 6 plus 3 more is 9. 9. Again, we get 9. So, try it out. You can arrange the, the uh, 2 plus 3 plus 4, put the numbers in any order you want, you're always going to get 9, okay? And so, we'll come back very soon in our next video, and we'll show you some techniques called Kung Fu Edition. That's what some students call it anyway. And we're going to do these, some of these uh, techniques and show how it could make your life a little bit easier when you're adding numbers together. Anyway, we'll see you all again soon.